good morning and welcome to another uh, daily vlog from Burning Gas Hall and Ass. I hope you've been enjoying the daily vlogs, guys. Um, to say something new, thought I'd give it a little bit of a try. So we've managed to do seven days worth. So we're now on to Monday again from, and it's very unsettled weather. Um, it's what we expected the last couple of days. So Monday, what we're we going to do today? So. Tomorrow was meant to be nice weather, so we've decided that we're going to go up the Fife coastal route and take the bikes. But the other day I mentioned that I had bought a new helmet and it was the Shoei GT Air 2. And I bought it because one is a more comfy helmet because the NXR was too loud. So I'm looking to transfer all my Senna equipment across to that today. So then that way that Sarah and I can communicate and record any video footage on board the bikes going up the Fife Coastal Route. Hopefully, as long as there are no more Scottish monsoons going to pass by. So the master plan today is, as you can see there, that is the centre mount that is in the NXR. And here is the GT Air 2. Now, I don't know if anybody uses these, but I bought these donuts a couple of years ago for putting my helmets on in the garage whenever I was ever doing anything, you know, like maintenance, like taking pads out to take them to get washed and clean visors and generally just clean any dead bugs and insects. Great little investment, guys. These are from Oxford, the Central Rider Equipment, as you can see probably in the front. I got them here at Salt Tire Motorcycles over towards Edinburgh. Um, I think they paid £7 each for them, um, and they've basically paid for themselves. So you can mount everything, like put your helmets on like that, not worry about them rolling around the table, falling off and damaging hundreds of pounds worth of equipment. And to the side, see we have options. Now this is the awesome thing about Senna. They give you all these different options. So right now, I'll quickly jump back to the NXR. The NXR has the clamp on it, as you can see down here. A couple of Allen screws, slides up between the insulation and the actual uh, helmet casing itself in there, as you need the cheap pads. And they also give you the option if you want to go the 3M route, which is basically you can take one of these pads, stick it right here, puff it out with a bit more of 3M, which they give you, here and then remount your camera so it's pretty simple or they also give you another clamp now the only problem with this clamp is it doesn't have the adjustment wheel to give you the angle of view and um, so what you have to do with this clamp is you have to put it on connect your center to your wi-fi via your mobile phone and adjust the angle on your camera using said button on the Evo there, right in front, as you can see my finger at. And then that allows you to try and get the horizontal plane using the center when you're doing. So that is the plan. That's the plan this morning anyway. So as you can maybe see in there, there's a whole host of wires and everything in there that I need to take out and transfer across to the GT Air 2. Now, not to give you the full GT Air 2 review, but one of the good things about the GT Air 2 is it does actually come with compartments built for another Senna unit. You take these out, these out, take the cheap pads out, and there's all these channels that you can actually run the proper cabling and another uh, different type of Senna communication unit that slots right in here. But that is another £300, and at this moment, after buying the helmet, I'm not going to put another £300 in another Senna since I have the two, the, the Evo for Sarah and I. So this, I'm going to convert this one over to here. So I'm going to take all the pads out from this helmet, take all the pads out from this helmet and just transfer it over. And hopefully it all works, it all works pretty good. And then we all have lift off and then tomorrow we can go up the five coastal route. So we'll see how that goes. So because we have a little bit more unsettled weather, that is the master plan today. If that plan succeeds, we shall see, but I did manage to fit the other one, so hopefully I won't break this one. So, 
Stand, stand by for that one, guys. So, guys, anybody who knows, you've got the pop rivets inside the helmet, which you can see here and here. So, all you do is you unpop the cheap pads, not to take them fully out, and you probably can see right in there that my microphone and my headset just falls right into the bottom of the helmet because everything was really secured. Now, if you go, if you look to the right in here, you can actually see the microphone where the headset would be for your earpieces would go right in there. And on the other side as well, you can see it right in there also. So it is quite a basic setup, but just goes in and you feed the cables along, along the back off the helmet and behind here. And I say everything just pops in quite nicely on the NXR. So as I say, it's a very, very simple install. So that's it all out. So I'm going to take all this out just now. And I'll show you all my basic setup. So I'll bring that over to this side of the table. So, right. So all you all you see here is you've got your two, your two earphones here. And I've got, I use a boom, I use a boom mic with a, a dead cat on the end of it. Take away any wind noise, so obviously I like to, you like riding with your visor open to let some air flow through it take, basically eliminates a lot of the wind noise and when you guys are watching any of my recordings that takes away any of the cackle so got that I've got the actual mount that goes into the back of the centre so all in all we're all ready to start taking out the pads on the GT Air 2 and uh, see if we can get this beast in here without causing too much damage too much damage. jumping on the bike. I had to come out and test ride the GT Air 2 with the Senna 10C Evo attached. As I say, I only got the helmet last week and I haven't had the chance to actually see what it's like riding the helmet. It's so light. In here it feels like a fresh pair of pants, man. It's like so fresh, so clean, so new. It's so comfy as well. Honestly, it's, uh, it's like being in a fully soundproof room. More airspace around me. I'm curious when, if, obviously, if the audio turns out pretty good, you'll be able to hear this on this clip, and we'll be able to rate it and see what that turns that sounds like. And also, I was a bit concerned, you know, with the, with the cables, with the microphone, the earphones, everything else being attached into this. Was it going to cause any issues? None, none at all. It went basically on like it was before, with nothing in it, you know. Um, where I position my microphone, which is up here on my left side of my uh, visor, it doesn't even intrude in my field of vision because I've got so much of it with this helmet. So what a difference. So I'm going to head down this road, um, see what it's like at a bit of the speedy, like the spe higher speed stuff. This is a 60. Um, be able to give you a little impression on that. And then uh, I'll give you a little montage of going through my hometown and heading back home. As I say, it was only a small test ride because I'm going out tomorrow morning with uh, Sarah 
to go for a day out up the Fife coastal route. So, and I'm on the night road as well, as you can imagine, my turning circle is about the same as a double-decker bus. So, hopefully, so that is uh, 40 miles an hour. And this is a louder bike, and that's at uh, 55. And this is at uh, 60. So I'm quite happy at that, at 60 miles an hour, what it's doing. So yeah, definitely, definitely happy. So I can hear myself talking. I don't have to shout, uh, which will obviously interfere with you guys when you're listening to my audio. And uh, so cue the montage to heading home and uh, let's rock this. That's me back from the test ride on the Night Road Special. Wow, that GTR 2, that's my overall word that I can use to describe this helmet. It's so light, it's like a cathedral in there. You know, new pants, so fresh, so clean. I know I've repeated this, but that's the only way I can describe this. And with the Senna Bluetooth communications in there as well, it doesn't feel so intrusive. So. Really impressed, really happy with it. I'm really happy I've got that set up for tomorrow. Hopefully, if you've got to this part of the video, guys, that the audio that you've just seen before sounds really good and I'm not talking out my ass. Hopefully. So, yeah, all in all, quite a productive day. Saying I transferred a little two helmets. I managed to get out on the night road before not a little rain shower, which is always good. It's always good to get that thing and get more knuckles in the wind, as you do. So, all in all. So, thanks for watching this, guys. Um, hopefully, we'll see you all tomorrow. And uh, take it easy if you're riding. Stay safe. And, as always, keep hauling ass.